Hello, my name's Daniel and I'm the Chief Executive. As part of the £500 million investment in Epsom and St Helier Hospitals, we are going to create two vibrant district hospitals at Epsom Hospital and St Helier Hospital, regardless of where the specialist emergency care hospital is built. We've been asked lots of questions about, so what exactly is the district hospital? So in this short video, we're going to show you. First stop, the urgent treatment centre. Hello, my name is Craig. I'm a consultant nurse in the urgent treatment centre. Two thirds of people who come to the accident emergency department are seen by my team. Under these new proposals, we are staying put at Epsom and St Helier hospitals 24 seven. Hello, my name's Kate. I'm a superintendent radiographer. When you need any sort of diagnostic test, such as MRI, ultrasound or X-ray, all of these services and my team will be staying put at Epsom and St Helier Hospitals. Hello, my name is Sahar. I'm a specialist optometrist working for the Trust. We run a busy eye unit here and um, under the new proposals, my team and I will still be here looking after your eyes at Epsom and St Helier Hospitals. Hello, I'm Guan Lim, one of the consultant gastroenterologists here. I'm glad to tell you that under these proposals, uh, day case procedures such as endoscopy will continue to be carried out in Epsom and St Helier hospitals. Hello, I'm Fiona. I'm one of the senior chief cardiac physiologists here. We diagnose people's heart problems in our department. Under the new proposals, we will be staying put at Epsom and St Helier hospitals. Hello, my name is Vipul Patel. I'm the medical director of the South West London Elective Orthopaedic Centre, also known as Swellyok. Swellyok, which is based at Epsom, is staying put under these proposals. My name is Juliana. I'm one of the specialist sisters here in the dialysis unit in St Helia Hospital. We run an efficient and busy unit, and um, under the new proposals, we are staying put. Hi, I'm Stephanie and I'm a midwife. Under these new proposals, Although the birth of your baby will be at the Specialist Emergency Care Hospital, your postnatal and antenatal care will remain the same at Epsom and St Helier Hospital. Hello, my name's Nicola. I am a nurse. I am the day surgery manager at Epsom General Hospital. This is where you would come if you required to have day surgery. Under the new proposals, we are staying put. Here in Croft Ward, we care for patients who are medically stable, but not ready to go home yet. We are a team of doctors, nurses, physiotherapists and occupational therapists that help people stay mobile and get well. Under these proposals, Epsom and St Helier will have hospital beds like these. So I hope you can now see what we mean when we say that in any option, 85% of patients will carry on being cared for in Epsom and St Helier hospitals. Having £500 million to invest in your local hospitals really is a once in a lifetime opportunity. So please join in and tell us what you think. We are listening. <laughs>